Hi, I'm not yet dead, and welcome back to Train Sim World. Train Sim World 4 on PC. I'm on my laptop recording Train Sim World 4 with my snowball microphone. Let's see if this works. This is a first go, it's a test. If the sound isn't brilliant, I'm sorry. I've had to put a, a, a noise filter on because the sound of my fan is just horrendous. You can probably just hear it, but the next uh, the next best the next best filter that cuts more noise out actually really cuts me out as well. I have to speak really loudly and then you, you sort of it drops out if I speak a bit quieter or if I tail off at the end of a sentence or whatever. I've done a bit of testing. It's taken all morning. Jeez, let's not even go there. Anyway, train sim work for I've got lots. I've not got everything. I've got lots. Um and frankly more than I can ever need, but I can't help myself. I just yeah, I like new places and new things so um, in fact, there's only one set that I'm not that bothered about. The only reason I've got Sherman Hill is because I think it was free recently. Um, Cajun Pass uh, obviously came with, uh, uh, Sandpax 2 also came with, um, and then of course we've got the new one, Antelope Valley, which actually I do really like, but the other US ones I am not so keen on, so I'm not buying any more. Um, that but that's the sound patch I was really enjoying, but that was a long time ago, and I've done a lot of it. Um, but yeah, we've got all sorts. Um, Oakville. That's it. Oakville and Sher Sherman. Now I, I forget the name, but I, I, let's talk about that in a minute. Anyway, um, so yeah, so mm. I was playing the Edinburgh Glasgow line yesterday, and uh, actually I was playing yesterday and remembered that I hadn't done any of the Edinburgh freight pack that mm. I'd recently bought. Scotland the brave. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and uh, and actually I started one and you know what it's fabulous fun so as a first recording from my laptop I thought we'd give it a go I've had to switch the music off it makes me very sad I really like the menu music but I actually had the album because I bought the whichever version you bought that came with the album spring morning so I wouldn't believe I was born in Glasgow would you in my defense I did leave when I was three welcome Wow, you didn't give me a lot of time to read that. We're at Eastfield Depot. Anyway, we've got to go and clock in first. So let's do that. This is really cool. This is such a cool thing. I absolutely love it. Enter your details. Drivers, not yet dead. I should say not yet dead up here. You've been assigned to a class 66 rescue service. Fault 385 has come to stop at Cadder Depot. It has to be a couple this train. Drop the passenger at Bishop's Brig and then bring the train back to here. Should be. All fairly quick, really. Uh, approach the train. So the slight snag is, as I've discovered before, if you don't follow the markers exactly. Morning, ladies. Um, lovely morning. Look at that sky. Look at that sunrise. God, the colours so good. Uh, yeah, if you don't follow these markers exactly, it doesn't help, and you don't know where you're going. This doesn't seem the safest way to get to a train, but alright. Okay. Attach the coupling in it. Right, right, right. Delma coupler. It's a weird little thing. Okay. Switch off now. Now we know what we're doing. Right. I mean, and when I say you know what we're doing, I know what we're doing. I mean in a very roundabout sense. In the loosest possible sense of the word, right? Chuck in reverse around all. Oh my goodness, cutting the brakes. Okay. Down, down, and right. Uh, select. Cut in. Exit. Nice. No, no, because I'm not done yet. Tail lights are off. Instrument lights, I want those on. Oh no, we're in night running. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Just to. Oh, no, no, not yet. Now we're ready. Okay. I used to find the brakes in this really confusing. And then I figured I could read the dials and then I understood better what it was doing. <laughs> Rolls. Uh, engine run switch on. Great. Zoom in. Oh god, it's so good on PC. I have to say, I do prefer this on PC to console. It has to be set. Uh, so we reverse to forward. Using the mouse. 
and that keyboard. I mean, I always used to play with a keyboard anyway, but it just, yeah, it's so good. Right, five mile an hour speed limit, so let's not go crazy. We also got a red signal coming up. Do I need to brake or is that going to slow me down a little bit? Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll try and remember to speak at a reasonable volume. Unfortunately, of course, because I've got a keyboard in front of me, unlike um, the PlayStation, I can't actually have the... Um, oh no, not yet. I can't actually have the microphone quite so close. Um, but it's fine. So I hope this is okay. We'll consider this a test. So I spent a long time this morning getting it set up trying to figure out the vagaries of consoles are so much easier than what to say. Um, and actually I'm still not convinced that my editing software that I've got, um, there's something really weird about it. I get a real crackling sound when I load a clip into it. I've noticed it before when I did I loaded in a short that I'd recorded as a test and yeah it was this really horrible crackly sound. It was really annoying. Um, but um, but let's see. Um, so, worst comes to worst, I'll just upload it as it is. I mean, it's not ideal. I quite like to put my old titles and a thumbnail and put, the, put my put my little logo in the bottom of the screen. But I'll see if I can figure that out. Um, if not, I could just uh, I could try and put it import it into um, well, what's it called? A share factory in the PS5, and maybe edit it in there. Which, in some ways, would be better because it's more familiar, right? And I can just do it standard as I do all my other ones. Maybe that'll work. We'll see. But yeah, train sim work for on the laptop. Looks awesome. Yeah, the Edinburgh Glasgow route, I um I like it. It's a Scottish route, so brilliant. Um but I do I did find it a bit too much just back and forth. Right? You know, you just go from Glasgow to Edinburgh, and then you go from Edinburgh to Glasgow, and back and back and back and back. Um, I don't get too crazy because it's an hour and a minute, so what am I doing? Quick break, 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 break. Good breaks, this thing. Break more. Oh, break more. Oh, not bad. Okay. Um. Hang on, let me, uh, let me just... <laughs> Let me concentrate a minute. Concentrate, 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 concentrate. Break! Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, good. Right, so set the reverse to neutral. Uh, set the instrument lights. Set the tail lights on. Set the lights lights off. Uh, and switch off the instrument lights. Right. Desk light. Is the desk light even on? Anyway, uh, I'm take out the handle. And we're done. Switch ends. Um, but yeah, so I, I, you know, I do like the Edinburgh Glasgow route. Lovely scenery, great loco, uh, another three eight five, whatever it is. I know it's going to be space. Um, but it was a bit, yeah, just back and forth, like I said, right? So I was a little bit, but I have been enjoying my freight. Right, I've got, um, I've got the first of the cargo line packs. That's fantastic. Um, and I thought, you know what, maybe this would be okay too. And you know what? So I mean, right, fine, I get it. This is the first one. But you know what? So far, bloody brilliant. Right. So, tail lights are off. Instrument lights to on. Headlights to be running. Uh, Release till the brake pipe goes to five. So for some reason, this clocks out first. There we go. Put the reverse into forward while we're here. And we're away. Be careful as you enter the main line, I think it said. Um, yeah, we go. Just wait for us to notice the change of direction before it cleared the signals, and we're all good. Stick me in out of it, but. Anybody coming? No. <laughs> anyway, um, so 
quite a long lean out to get out of that window actually. There you go. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd give this a go. So far, yeah. I mean, I love that thing at the beginning where you have to clock in. I think that's fantastic. I do enjoy this game. I really do. And as I say, I think I prefer it on, on, on PC, but I've been a bit mm. about trying out the software. I'm using the same software that Trend Simulator Driver uses. I'm trying very hard not to contact him and say, how do you do this again? I work in computers. I should be able to figure it out, right? Mm -hmm. I just had to research and then trying to I just find it really boring. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that doesn't help. Right, now we're going up to 60. Let's put some, put some boxes in. Whee! It looks so good. How frames are we running? Yeah. Not bad. We're recording as well. It's only a laptop. I mean, don't get me wrong. My laptop is a beast. But it is only a laptop. I, I got a laptop. I may change my mind, but I got a laptop because right now I'm doing a lot of travelling. And uh, I thought, you know what, if I've got a laptop, I can, uh, I can take it with me. Um, um, and I needed something, because my... Otherwise, I only have my work laptop. My old desktop is so old. It's great for certain things, but it's like... 16 years old. So, I try not to put it online. But there are certain things it does really well, and it's still got a load of data on it, but I can't use it for admin type stuff, right? Um, which I used to use my wife's PC for. She's not here anymore, she's gone home. So I'm here away, so I needed something. Um, and yeah, a laptop just kind of made sense. If it won't press the horn, which you know, it's not really fine in the morning. Right, here we go. Two yellow signals, let's uh, knock off some speed. Um, but yeah, when I get back home, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll, I'll get a, a gaming machine fully. But we'll see. Um, but it does a good job, right? I mean, it looks to me this looks really good. To me, this looks better than the PlayStation Five. Uh, not to have played Train Simulator on the PlayStation Five, I should add. Um, but um, I have just got Farming Simulator. Um, I'm, I'm focusing on No Man's Land at the moment. But uh, you know, we'll see how that compares when I start on it. Obviously, I'm recording as well, right? Which is going to impact. I can get 60 frames a second on some routes. Um, some routes are more op better optimized than others. Um, it's just the way it is. But yeah, so, but no, I'm loving it. Um, this looks gorgeous. I mean, the lighting, you know, the gradual you know, move from, you know, day, the early, day, nighttime, early morning, you know, the sun is gradually rising. It just looks fabulous. Right, okay, so we've got a little bit further to go, 400 yards, so let's, uh, oh, no, we're now we're down to 300 already, okay, and there's the red signal, at which we have to stop right now, so, as I might have mentioned, I can't remember, um, I did, uh, I came across this yesterday, and, um, I did start it and I thought, you know what, this is so good, I actually really, really want to record this. So uh, that's what we're doing. So I hope I managed to put it out. Um, but at this point, something really weird happened and I want, to, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try an experiment, folks. Let's see if it works. There we go, got a little bit over, but that's okay. Use the phone to contact the signaler. Hello, signaler. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can I go? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Proceed at restricted speed. So as I went through this red signal, the train stopped. Automatic brakes, full works, right? I wonder. We'll try this. As I go through, I'm going to try pressing the acknowledge button and let's see what happens. So I just happened to release and press it again at the wrong time. Didn't work. Put some brake on. So what we do, 
Switch that off, switch that off. I've no idea if that's how it's supposed to be or if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe. Uh, switch back on, switch back on. Acknowledge, release the brakes. We'll be good to go. There we go. But yeah, like I say, I'm really enjoying my freight at the moment. Um, the shed, when when I first used it, you know, when I first got trained in World, it was it just seems so much more complicated. And bits of it are, right? I mean, you've got slow speed and all sort of stuff. But it seems so much more complicated than um, a lot of the uh, the passenger locos um, that were about at the time. Actually, once you get used to it, a bit of practice and experience, it's okay, actually. I mean, like I said, you know, even just, you know, the simple things like actually looking at the brake pipe control dial when you're braking, so you know how much to put on and when to hold it, makes it really easy. Um, right, here we go. How far have we got? 200, 200 yards. Okay, so a little bit more. Just take the edge off. Brighten it up. Lovely morning. Little bit warm. Little bit less, quite a lot less because we're going to stop too soon. There we go. Missed it, but that's okay. Because all we have to do now is drive into it. Whoa, how did that go? We are right there. Okay, release the brakes. Sounds about right. A little bit of power. And enough. And brake. And we're locked. Excellent. Okay, uh, right, so. I know it's telling me to do stuff, but it doesn't tell me to do everything. So we switch them on, switch them off, switch them off. Close that. And then we'll take that out. Excellent. I missed anything. Oh, I don't think so. Cool. Uh, door. 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 Find down. There's my door. There's my door. Yeah, the, uh, the, the spot the spot to open and close doors from the outside. Well, actually, no. Once it's open, the spot to open to close the door is really small. There we go. Because it's nearly all, otherwise it's nearly all ladder. Right, climb the ladder, climb the ladder. Okay, here we go. Right, so the reverse hand. Yes, 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 yes. Put it forward. I want lights. Alright, chill. Lights first. Switch them off. Put them on. Oh, oh no. I did it. You know, I left it. Uh, release the brakes. I think it counts as seven seconds rather than actually is it actually at five. But there you go. All good. And away we go. So I've noticed this before as well. I've still got my red lights on and I have switched them off, so I don't get why they're still on. I don't think that's normal. That's very cool. Oh, the ones on, on, on top of the back, despite the fact that I switched them on. Eh? Eh? Are they automatic? Is the fact that I switched them... Uh... Is it because I... Okay, so when we stop, we might figure that out while we're waiting for the passengers to sort themselves out. I think I'm wondering if I know why. Lots of people are probably shouting at the screen saying we're an idiot. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, hang on. So, actually, I can test that theory. So, if I put those on. 
Yes, that's it. Okay, so tail lights are tail lights at the opposite end. So the fact that I put tail lights on when I was at this end of the cab, but I'm now pointing at them, you can't see it, as opposed to this end of the cab is what I'm now sitting in. It activated the tail lights. That's why. My bad. Okay, we can sort that out when we get to Bishop's Bridge. That's fine. Cool. It's, it's all good. So long as I know the reason. Sometimes you only learn by making mistakes. So what? So what is the desk like? So I've got to say, I don't see a lot of it. Cab light, obviously fine. But not desk light. Don't get it. Anyway, how far we got? 0.9 miles. Oh, so that's just come into view then. Okey dokes. I you know see how coming up, but we're okay. This thing is not. Oh no, it's just bank. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. <coughs> love Five Circle. Fantastic route. Um, sales on at the moment, actually, speaking of which, um, might get Blackpool um, because only by having Blackpool for some strange reason can you run the Flying Scotsman in the in the base game route on uh, on Five Circle. Not sure why. I've got a modded one at the moment, which I've run it on, which is really good. Um, so, uh, but I mean, Blackpool Ranches is really good anyway. I've been wanting to get it for ages. The sale on it is not huge. It's got to be fair. To say it, it's got to be said that the sale on it is not huge. But it just goes to show how popular it is. People seem to really love it. Um, and so, you know. Ooh, I'm going to leave a break today. No. Um, but, uh, yeah. So I might get that. But yeah, I've actually got a modded timetable for the five circle which is awesome if you've not seen my short on it i do reference it and i think i've provided a link to it so i well recommend giving it a go it also has a couple of other packs that you can download with it and it includes a magic delivery for the hst absolutely brilliant and it's a it's a lovely route i absolutely adore it it's possibly my favorite route at the moment um there we go yeah. Why put more brakes on? Okay. So I've done this before. I've got to the point of connecting the train, basically. Right, let's climb down. I will close this door because you should do it. Really. Right. Get these doors open, then yeah, I'll pop back in the other cab. Oh, I know. You have to crouch. To Which at least is easy on, on a PC. Mm -hmm. Button, okay, put in the key, open the doors, right, come out, and you say, walk through the door, there we go, now we should go. Stupid, isn't it? Flipping it like a Excellent. You can get out now. In fact, you need to get out now. Because if you don't get out now... Hello? You need to get out. Get out the bloody train. If you don't get out now, you're coming with me to the depot, I'm telling you. I mean, I get you've been sat there a long time and you're probably really enjoying it. Crikey, it's a busy train for 5.30 in the morning. Oh, well. Also sounds pretty busy out there. It's very loud at 5.30 in the morning. Oh, sorry. My bad. It's a bit pressing. Get to the lock, take the key out. So what do we do unless I'm sat down? Harsh. Alright. Probably need to close the door first. Again, need to crouch. Need to crouch. Low. Where's the oh, speed? There it is. Ah, because it's not at the position of the thing, it's actually at the position where the key needs to go. Good grief. That's this one. This is the one I was trying with him, right? <laughs> I suppose obviously. Fairly obviously. Oh dear. 
Sit down, sit down, sit down. Uh, okay, so I don't need to add else, do I? Because everything else was done, so need to release the old break break. Cowles passing loop. There we go, and we're away. I would say, judging by the amount of traffic noise out there, they won't mind if I, if I pit the horn, but I won't, because they might do. Yay! No more red lights, we've got white ones instead, that's way better. So, now we figured that out, that's awesome, I'm really happy about that. Sounds great, looks great, still not sure about the pipping cars at 5 in the morning. I guess it may just be that the sort of the bustling sounds of the town um, are not varied by, by time of day, right? Presumably. Just so. Let's give it some welly. Um, I um, yeah, I won a key for a for a train sim world route. I think that was pre TSW four, um, so that might be TSW three, which I also have. Um, and I, I don't, rem I honestly don't remember which route. Yeah, I do. Uh, the New York route, Harlem to whatever, um, which I also it's a great route. That's a really good route. I love that route. Um, it's possibly my favourite American route at the moment, actually. Though I do like the new one in California, LA. Yeah, one. That is a, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, the LA route. Um, um, and he did say, just you know, if you you know, if you do if you do use it for recording or streaming, just you know, please say thanks. And I haven't done yet, but I'm going to say thanks anyway. Uh, so yeah, awesome. Love that route. And, you know, it's not like I haven't spent a shed load of money on it since as well. But, no, it's good. I can believe my luck. I li it was literally just after I'd got trained to work on the laptop. Literally, like, a week or two after I got it. And uh, he was doing this stream, and you just had to put a comment in the chat. And I, and I got a key. I was amazed. It was really good. Uh, if you don't watch Trains and Drive, you really should. He's way better at this than I'm. He's also more knowledgeable than I am. Break! Break! Stop! 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 Well, it's close enough. I'm going to look. Set the reverse to reverse. Yeah, because I'm not stopped in the right place. <laughs> Dolls. Okay. Yeah. Open the 2D map to switch manual junctions. Oh my goodness me, really? Okay. Of course now I can't see what it wants me to do. What does it want me to do? Switch the manual junction. Awesome. Detailed. Somewhere we should end up going the wrong way. Is that it? <laughs> yep. Oh, it's raining. Okay, uh, that means I need windscreen wipers. 
no, I don't need the hot plate on. Though actually, given the rain, that might not be a bad idea. Oh my goodness, I don't remember where the windscreen wipers are. No, no. Uh, windscreen wipers. I do want some fresh air. But that's not what I'm looking for right now. Oh, windscreen wiper left. Here we go. I'm not going backwards, so frankly, I'm not sure how much it helps. But. Um, okay. So, release the old brakes. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Scottish weather. It's funny, when I ran this yesterday, it was in mist, and now we've got rain. I was going to say that's going to hammer the old uh, uh, frames per second, but actually that's not too bad now. I have a feeling I'm only recording at 30 frames per second anyway, so you know what it's absolutely fine. Hey, choo choo. Hello, choo choo. Choo choo. Uh, oh, I was going to say, I don't know, it's about to mention there's a red light coming up, but actually it's the one I've just gone through, so that's it. Um, it's red because of me, which is as it should be. So the things are wrong because we're at the front of the, the, the back of the train technically. So we're crossing the speed limit change a lot sooner than, uh, than it would appear. Oh, I probably should shut my window. Just for I love the sound of the rain on the roof. It's fantastic. When I was a kid, we used to go holidays in a caravan. And that, that sound of it's pissing down outside and I'm snug and cosy and dry in here is brilliant. Had it just the same as this. Just the same. So let's go to the back of the train. Actually, let's get back on the train with this one. And let's see where we're going and what we're doing. Actually, what I should do... If I can find the line we're going on. Is it this one over here? Yep. Let's see us approach. I don't think it's run out of fuel. I don't think that's the issue. Oh yeah, and add the sound of thunder. That's just brilliant. Okay, speed it up a little bit. Okay, it's actually quite a long way away. We'll watch it come in. That, was that lightning I just saw? Oh, good thunder sound. Awesome. And you really you really hear it as well. Because, you know, we haven't got the sound of the train. So you really can hear the rain and the thunder. Brilliant. Oh, okay. Uh, we're a bit further away than I thought. It's got me said. We could just zoom up a little bit. Let's go see it coming in to the shed. Here it is. It's coming. Is it on the right line? <laughs> that would help. Yeah, looks like it. That's just so good. Sorry, I'm mesmerised by the sound of the thunder. That is just brilliant. So good. Whoa, that's a heavy thunder crash. Crikey. Okay, it'll get more power.
Ooh, that's handy. There's a uh, there's a map. There's a route map there. Oops, press the wrong button. Let's hope that route won't do anything too detrimental. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Not too much. Not too much. Beautiful. No worries. Shame there's still a shed load of passengers on the train. I do wish they'd sort that out. That is quite funny. That's so cool. Complete all scenarios. Oh really? Is that the only one that's a scenario? Oh dear. Is that a silver? I only got a silver. Wow, really? Oh my goodness, I've already done this one and a half times. <coughs> I've got to do it again. Oh, well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that, folks. I hope I managed to put this out. I hope it looks okay. I hope it sounds okay. Please let me know any comments around the sound, anything like that. The video is only at 1080p because that's the resolution of my monitor. And if I hook it up to my 4K monitor, the game can't, it can't cope. It can't cope with both. So I have to pay train soon world at 1080. But anyway, um, yeah, any feedback on sound or anything, just let me know. We'll, we'll tweak it. I'll have a, a, a preview, as, a review as well to see. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Likes and subscriptions, very much appreciated. And uh, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.